all know April 5th, we got a bunch of rain. The field we're in has tile in it. And whenever I came out to look at this field a couple of days after the rain, uh, this area that we were in was under close to two feet of water. This probe here was in the ground uh, under that water. Whenever you take a set of binoculars, you couldn't see it from the, from the high point of the field. All you saw were about that much of the flag. I talked to the guys at CropX. They said, let's, let's just see what happens. Let's wait, you know, cross your fingers and go from there. Talked to some of the tech support guys later that day and told him what was going on. And you could kind of tell he was, he was nervous. Ben was nervous about it. So he pulled up our account and uh, said, uh, well, they're reporting. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, I just got a report about 30 minutes ago that the probes you're talking about are under two foot of water without the extensions on them to get the antenna up above the water or anything like that. We're reporting. They stayed underwater for three or four days, came out from under the water. This is the first time I've walked out here and looked at them, but we've been getting reports every four hours for the last week, um, talking about what, what kind of soil moisture we got and soil temperature and things like that. So we were all nervous whenever we found out what was going on and found out that uh, they're kind of like the old Timex. They took a licking and kept on ticking, so it's something to keep in mind in the future whenever you're looking at soil moisture pros.